What is up? What is up? What is up? Yeah, baby. Stay tuned. You're about to watch a Tea in the Trees documentary called Into the Sipsy Wellness. It's going to be amazing. What's up, ladies and gentle pigs? I am Nate. I'm Mary. And you are watching Tea in the Trees. You are about to view our Sipsy documentary, Into the Sipsy Wilderness. So, of course, that means we have a special guest. Bushby? No, not Bushby. Say hello to the camera, sir. Tactical. Yep, he now is an Essie fanboy, are you not? Uh, I was, was very skeptical, but Nate kind of made me a believer, so it yeah. is what it is. What did we eat for dinner last night that we didn't film? What did we have for dinner last night? Besides Steak. beer. Steak. Uh, you know, I thought, you know, well, uh, the supermarket steak was great, but I, I've been ruined. It's all his fault. Yep. Gourmet backpacking at its best. All three of us are sporting uh, Z-Packs. Thanks to Will Wood forcing everyone in the hiking community to buy them. Thanks a lot, guy. Appreciate it, Will. Thank you. All right, let's get on the trail. What you doing, bud? Right. Across the creek barefooted. My buddy Adam, Mary, and the dogs have already hopped across. Behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's about to get farted on by a bush pig. What do you think about Into the Sipsy Wilderness? Well, it's great. That was a little bit overly dramatic. Jesus. <laughs> Thought you were having a heart attack. So what'd you find, Nate? I found an epic vista. Some random Alabamian. Do you need a ride up to the car? Can you hike up the hill? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's an epic vista. Hello, Bushby. Really oh, we're epic vista. Slide to the side, <laughs> sir. I don't know you. Epic this shot. See, this, this is the shot you get with the stick kick. Look at this. You can see the back of my head. Currently hiking uh, up a ridge line that uh, in a previous time we had had uh, problems with the wild boar around. And uh, Mary's up in front, Adam's behind me. The Bert is in the middle. And Pig, of course, is leading the way. Tons of thorns and briars through this way. But it's not like Pennsylvania where you have all the uh, stinging nettle. I'll, I'll take briars over stinging nettle all day, every day. Hey, let me pig. I think the timing for this trip was pretty damn perfect. Beginning of spring, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. Um, on a, during the weekdays, so nobody's out here when I went up there to drop the base camping gear off in the car. There was our vehicle and one other vehicle up there and they were headed out. So, yeah, pretty much perfect timing. Uh, we're still on the 207, we're getting close to uh, the intersection with 208. Uh, all that away. Adam is back there, somewhere. somewhere. He, he's back there. Um, gonna get the Haygood Creek plopped down and camel up, ton of water. Uh, we're gonna eat us some awesome uh, homemade dehydrated backpacking meals by, made by me and Mary. Meals by tea in the trees, it's gonna be delicious. Dogs are going to be eating their gourmet uh, food out here. So, so it's uh, shaping up to be an awesome day. First trail of the trip is down. 207 is in the bag. Run up here like Rocky, Adam. First trail's down, son. Come on, turtle. Get you some. What's up? 
first leg of the trip done. 207. Yeah, but it's a small leg. Yeah, that's why we go. Starting to feel it. You still got the 210, buddy. <laughs> uh, 210 is, is one of those it, you, you know those long highways that you hike or I mean that you hike you know the long highways that you drive that you know are just miserable but they're kind of hypnotic at the same time that is the 210 you're going to fall asleep while hiking I swear we are having us some chicken stroganoff with uh, vegetables. Well, I've got carrots in here, uh, a little bit of chives. We have some stroganoff seasoning. I have a touch of gravy. I have chicken. I have uh, a hydrated organic pasta. Cooking it on our alcohol stove. Got a touch of chipotle, a little bit of chipotle, and a little bit of the olive oil, a little California certified organic olive oil. Look, look. Adam's head is olive oil now. Yes. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Let a Chipotle. Pig. Do you like Chipotle? So we're about to set off from Haygood Creek. We just had lunch. It was excellent day. Kept it super swampy. Came down here in the creek, having a good time. Ah, we're gonna go up here, collect our stuff. We're already packed back up, and I guess we're gonna hit the trail. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Yep, we're about to uh, leave 208 and go up 210. Yay, what fun. Bye, honey. See you in a few years. Love you. Bye. Don't die out there with all the panthers and jaguars and swamp things and such. We say goodbye to Haygood Creek as we slowly walk towards the deep recesses of 210. The Sipsy will swallow us. We may never be seen again. So Adam the Weekend Hiker will probably not be known ever again. Hey. Now, as we set off, <laughs> we're all gonna fucking die. <laughs> we'll edit out the F word. But we're all gonna die! So we've all here. <laughs> Sipsy Wilderness made their own feather stick. Much better than me and Adam can do. <laughs> They're like, hey guys, I saw, saw y'all doing that crap over at camp last night. <laughs> Beautiful area here in the Sipsy. About midday, right after lunch. What you doing, Mayor? Oh, no, you're not. Picturing me, picturing you. So, uh, we are mostly done for the day we got a little ways more to plot on we are at the seat which is right over here it is actually dry um it's got a couple of puddles for the dogs and that's it so um i think i still got a liter left you got what a liter liter and a quarter, liter and a quarter. how much you got adam pint, pint. so about a pint and a half. So we're good on water. If we run out of water, we'll just drink whiskey. So, <laughs> so it's been an awesome day. Whiskey, huh? <laughs> I'm dehydrated. Drink more whiskey. <laughs> it's been an awesome day, though. Uh, Mary's pack, we finally got dialed in a little bit better. Me, I need some more lumbar support, so I'll be ordering that. Adam's over there being all smug with his ultralight setup. Living them off. <laughs> so well, we've had an overall good day it's been an arduous journey it's worth it though because tonight we get to rest and then tomorrow you have a nice easy day full of beautiful views tons of water and a very short day like about six and a half to seven and a half miles 
and we plop down at one of the nicest camps with a sandy beach. Remember that, Adam, there's a sandy beach for us to walk in with the sun beating down on it. Yeah, so we're going to Pig Beach! Woo. Pig Beach! Oh yeah. Formerly known as Thompson Beach because I can never remember what the hell I name any of my shit. You were acting super swampy tonight, my dear. Oh, boopy. Love me some boopy. Is that the one you go swimming in? Yeah. Ah. It is, my friend. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We are at our night stop for the evening. We have already had a nightcap. There's the mean lady in her um, pajamas, her camp clothes. There's the bush pig exhausted. There's the limb pig exhausted. We killed Adam today. The weekend hiker is now the dead hiker. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you a backstory. He's probably going to talk about it when I'm not around. But uh, I'm one of those guys where we're hiking along and I'm like, I think we're close. So I'm like, oh yeah, we're just like half a mile away, maybe three quarters. No more than a mile. Six miles later, <laughs> we're not quite in camp yet. And my hair looks like this. He does that all the time to me. It's like, shut up, you don't even know. I, I don't. So. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> Good morning from 210. All of us survived the evening. Adam's over there brushing his teeth, chilling. Mary's filtering water. I'm drinking tea. Sounds like I'm being pretty damn worthless. So, almost got camp packed up, except for my pack exploded all over on this side. It's all good though. Had some peanut butter and oatmeal. I think we'll be good to go soon. Mary's virtually packed up. Adam's gotta pull down his hammock setup, but we should be on the trail in the next four to six hours. So, should be a nice day. We only got like 8 million miles and then a half mile to do before we're done. A little oatmeal in my beard. So, all right, guys. We'll see you down the trail. Look at the bush pig. And then we were going to hit this trail, kill this trail, and get to hideaway camp before dusk. And we're going to go have us a nice bath. So, stay tuned. It's going to be an awesome day. Don't want to give up. Hurt no, me, not really. Yeah. <laughs> what, the 210? I guess we did. I don't remember wanting to actually give up until we got to, what, the 204 area? It's not a fun trip. Yeah, I wanted to quit, but once you get back here, there's no way out until you go. So, if you're doing the uh, Sipsy Outer Trail Loop, here in the Sipsy Wilderness in the great state of Alabama. Um, when you get done with the uh, 210 for the night, you camp in a pretty rocky, rough spot, but plenty of water. Plenty of opportunities for hammock hanging, as Adam can attest to it. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, then immediately following packing up, you're gonna start climbing uh, small mountains again, hills, skinny trails with drop-offs, and you're gonna slide gonna be a lot of fun but um you only got a mile after that camp to get off the 210 and get on the 223 which is a nice flat horse and wagon trail so overall one tough mile then everything else is just smooth sailing all the way to Thompson so there's the sign for 210 uh, a lot longer than they said it was piss on that trail though we are done and all of us are chilling so uh, right up that way is um, Brazel Trailhead. Right down this way is 223. Heading that way. Um, we're done with the monster known as 210. Got a bug on me. So, let's have a better day than tomorrow. What does everybody say? Hmm? Let's have a better day than yesterday. Did I say tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Let's have a better day than yesterday.
Amen. Amen. So we uh, knocked out the 223 right behind me. That is 208. Um, we will not be taking that direction. We will be taking the old Forest Service Road portion of 208. And we'll be getting her done. Shouldn't be too long before we hit um, Thompson Trailhead and uh, a very large water source. Off to my right down here, we got Thompson Creek. So we are close to lunch and then only a few more miles and we'll be to camp. So tough day for, for us. Um, really hot, got sunburned. I uh, ran short on water, but it is all good. We're almost done with the day. All three of us are making it. So, once we get into lunch, I'll give you a hop. So, we are at the Thompson Trailhead now. There's 208. So, we'll be going down here. Mary's already down at the creek filtering water. She went ahead while I waited on Adam. He ran short on water, and uh, so I've been kind of nursing him to the trailhead, getting water and working with him. So it's the longest hike he's ever been on, a couple of days into it. And it gets a little rough if you've not done this kind of thing before, so. Bam, squirrel, Ruff. Your dog food? Need some food food. Yeah. Look at old peanut and carrots, boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that good right there. Well, lunch is finished. Just had some uh, chicken and rice. We are about to uh, hit 206, which is right there. And we're going to knock out a few miles on it, and then we're setting up camp. So should be pretty nice. So we'll be getting to hideaway camp tonight. Um, it's our uh, favorite camp and all the Sipsy. You'll see why if you haven't already seen. Um, this will be Adam's first trip to hideaway camp, so he should really enjoy it. It's absolutely beautiful. Thanks for continuing to watch. There's my two hiking companions in front of us. Freaking beautiful. What you say? I said my two hiking companions are in front of us. This is my <laughs> this is my Green Cup Club Society voice. Oh yeah. Mary finally didn't go up there. She went right there. Well, you Adam, she was gonna try to lead you the wrong way. Are you filming me filming you? Yes. That is some bull. We are finally at the sign for 206. Well, the second sign for 206. Cross the creek. Go up. Currently walking through my favorite spot in all of Alabama, Thompson Creek Trail. Um, this is 206. It it's just beautiful. There's moss all over the rocks. There's a there's <laughs> there's deer running up on the hill. Wish I could smell walking through this. Just see. A, it's not just the signs, the spring, all the green, but there's a lot of flowers through here blooming and it just smells absolutely wonderful.
What is up? Just got washed off in Thompson Creek. We're up at Hideaway Camp. Adam is about a, about a half a mile away. Um, he he couldn't make it up here. He was just spent. And um, so I went back after I got my pack up here. I went back and I grabbed his pack and I helped him down to closest campsite and I uh, made sure he was all right. And we got a plan of attack. Um, the Sipsy through hike is intensely important to me and Mary. We, we, we didn't get it done last time. So we plan on plan on getting it done this time. So um, uh, we had set goals. So we went ahead and we're gonna accomplish them. And we got a plan of attack for him so that he can drop a few miles in the next couple of days and be a little bit easier on himself. So, um, but yeah. Uh, he's fine. He's snuggled up probably in his hammock right now. We just got a bath and uh, our clothes are hanging up there to dry. And uh, we're just going to chill out and have a couple of sips of um, some uh, Knob Creek Extra Rare Reserve 12-year uh, bourbon and uh, drink some creek water and then uh, have some dinner and then go to bed. And we're gonna try to meet him early tomorrow um, because I don't think he'll get up very early. And uh, our, plan, our plan is to pull a Nero up here at Hideaway Camp. So we go get him, uh, excuse me, go get him from that location and bring him to our location. He can hang a hammock and we can have a, a Nero day and um, for this through hike and he can rest up we can you know have a fire at hideaway camp and relax and just chill and um should be fine so, all right that's uh, the plan just got back uh from up the trail got adam to our camp good old hideaway camp it's gonna be a nice fun day taking a zero We're going to play around over here at Hideaway Camp, close to uh, Shiprock and I, the Needle. And have a nice time, eat tons of food, relax. It's going to be great. Uh, the beauty of Thompson Creek. You cannot beat it out here, my friends. You just can't. And up there is our common area. Further up the hill. Right that away is our camp. Gonna mosey on down the trail and go to Pig Beach. Going to Pig Beach. You wanna come to Pig Beach? Oh, you're about to come to Pig Beach with us. Oh, it's gonna be Sanders all day. It's gonna be pigs. It's gonna be the weekend hiker. It's gonna be tea in the trees. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Hola, senior weekend hiker. How you doing? Some of the rapids over here. Absolutely beautiful area. One of me and Mary's favorite spots to film. Favorite spots to camp, favorite spots to hike. So overall, one of our freaking favorites. It is amazing. So excited. Going to Pig Beach. Going to Pig Beach. Going to Pig Beach. Didn't film last night. We were bathing. Um, it's not really uh, YouTube or kid friendly. Going to Pig Beach. There's the weekend hiker. There's one half of tea and trees. Miss Mary, say hola, Mary. Pasta. She said gay pasta. Say hola. Hola. He doesn't know how to say it. Hola, como Come on, who's the pig? Speak Spanish. You're the only one of us that can. What you doing, boo? Pig. There goes my girls going down Pig Beach. Get your mama. Get your mama. Get your mama. All right, we're going in the freaking freezing cold water. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Thank you, sir. What you doing, Lim Pig? Give me a super swamp, mate. What are you doing? What are you doing, your daddy's little girl? Oh, it's daddy's little girl. What are you doing, pig? Are you on Pig Island? It's on Pig Island. Super swamp,
Go on, Liam. Or not. Uh. Come on, weekend hiker. You got it. It's freaking cold. Oh, oh it's so cold. So my boys almost. Ah, uh. uh. yeah. Having a good time. Oh yeah, it's a good day. What you doing, pig? Pig, come here. Pig, come here. It is nice out here, guys. Water's cold, the sun is warm. Ah, having a good time. Pig, come here. See if uh, you, bird. Oh yeah, we're about to go in the water. It's about 16 million degrees below zero. try to stay in the water get steep oh it's getting deep oh there's a fish there's a fish he was looking at me Whew. oh there's a fish on my leg all right look at all these fish they're jealous because they're not on camera holy shit that's a big gar all right we're going up here it's a big gar That is a big freaking gar. We've swam with gar before. We're not feeling like doing it today. Make us some tea. Gonna make us some right, lunch. We're going. Bam. Gonna make some tea. Got some extra sharp cheddar cheese off the block. Got some tortillas. Some chicken fajita, homemade chicken fajita, and got some bam sriracha. Let me tell you how much I love sriracha. I would put this on everything. I might even put this on the bush pig. I don't know. I might. It's delicious. We are having an excellent day over here at Hideaway Camp, right off of Thompson Creek. You having a good day, Mayor? Sure she is having an excellent day. She's over there sawing wood while I make us some lunch. Like a boss she is. There's the pigs, chilling. Oh, look at that scrumptiousness. Oh, so scrumptious looking. Let's get this boom on. Oh yeah, oh get in close. Yeah, baby. Oh, chicken fajitos. Mm-hmm. Adam's over there chilling. Mary is still sawing the wood. Us boys are being a couple of lazy bums. Tired Liam up. Liam. You tired? Oh, this is a tired little pig. Uh, done eating lunch, had a sip of whiskey, Just laying out relaxing after sawing some wood. It is a good day. One of God's greatest creations is the bush bee. She's so beautiful and swampy. Come pig, come here, come here, come to daddy. No, we need more. If you bring me some, I'll finish. I'll do it up. My eyes on fire! Emma, why are you sitting on daddy's seat? She got up and fell on it. 
Don't look down at it. Get your ginger butt up here. That's mine. That's what I sleep on. She says, this is my bed. Piss off. Uh, uh, how are you this morning, darling? Just a beautiful SC3. Mm. Oh, you got morning breath. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Come here, girl. Let's take you out of your clothes. Oh, look at you. You're so beautiful. Oh, my God. You're so beautiful. Still not a fanboy. Shut up, Adam. Still not a fanboy. You do smell quite nice, though. Is that cedar? Another epic day in the Sipsy. We've been horsing around, clowning around. I made love to an SC knife. It was fabulous. If you didn't shit, you need to rewind. It was amazing. We're going back to the girls. Adam's a little bit ahead of me. He's probably scared of me. I'm doing creepy shit like making panoramas of crap. Uh, finish out our zero day. Got a nice fire going. We're gonna eat some sketty for dinner. It's gonna be amazing. I ask Adam a couple of weird Adam. questions. How'd you feel about me making love to an ashy knife in the middle of the woods? It's hot. It's hot? Hot like the fire? Or hot like, oh God, I threw up into my mouth? I, I felt like I needed to be, a, I needed an adult. I was scared. You were scared? That's what I said back there when you couldn't hear it, but it probably everybody heard it. Yeah, it was a little bit creepy. I'm a little bit weird. <laughs> The landscape has changed a lot over the years, but what's remained the same is this Thompson area. Uh, a lot of old trees, a lot of conifers, a lot of big boulder fields, and moss all over them. This is a very ancient looking place. I would expect ancient ruins, Mayan ruins, all types of things to be sitting out here. It's absolutely amazing. Ah. ah, what is up ladies and gentlemen, we're just sitting out here chilling next to Thompson Creek about to get water. It has been an excellent, epic day. Ah. Got two more days left too. Right at the end of it, right at the end of it. Oh. Slushies from Sonic. Oh. Chili cheese dogs and hamburgers and chili cheese. Oh my god, it's gonna be delicious. Two more days of hiking, and that's what we get. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Oh, move it in, move it in. I bet y'all, y'all wish y'all was here. Look at that pig. Look at that pig. Hiking up here to Eye of the Needle and Ships Rock. Last time I was up here, I was a little tired. The other time I was trying to run down to get at him. So, uh, heading up here now. A little bit out of breath. Going up the side of the mountain. Uh, beautiful surroundings. This is called the Sipsy Slide. Let me scroll back. The reason why it's a Sipsy Slide is it's more than a 45 degree angle. So when you go down it, you're gonna slide unless you crab walk. The bush pig makes it look easy. I think we got some footage of her. Cut to that right now. I would advise going that way. I'm gonna take the Sipsy Slide. 
I go. Go. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, probably missed the snakes and lizards. There's a cool little hole. I love all of the uh, cutaways, damage from erosion and such. Some of these rocks. I, I don't know what causes this. Oh, that kind of looks like a skull. Look at that right there. That eye and that eye, the nose and the mouth coming down. It's kind of like. Um, I'm not going to do one of those normal videos where I'm acting silly. This is probably my last time I'll ever walk up to this spot. So, um, this spot's very personal to me. Um, I used to do a lot of uh, forest free running and parkour through that. Um, I used to have my uh, little Gro GoPro style Sony action cam strapped to my chest, strapped to my backpack strap. And I used to go whole hog with that thing, man. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm really gonna miss this place. Ah! Good times, man. Oh, money. <laughs> Still good times. Uh, here. This is a little moderately secret way to get across the other side. Now, I showed Adam this, so, and he showed it in his video. But still kind of a cool spot. We're gonna do a lot of hiking up on these rock walls and rock climbing stuff. Be very careful. There's a lot of bats uh, that live here, and they're an endangered species. We've got to be very careful around them. We don't want to disturb them any more than we have to. I've actually had bats swoop down upon me, and it was it was it was cool. I really liked it. Um, I was using a headlamp in white light mode. Moths were all around me. Pew, 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 pew. And the mo the uh, bat went and uh, dive bomb me a couple of times while I was out uh, opening the flaps of the tent to let some air in. It was really cool though, I really loved Funny it. Funny story is, uh, a lot of y'all don't know it, we never filmed back then, but uh, me and Mary, when we first came out to the Sipsy, uh, we brought a cooler out here, okay? We didn't know what we were doing, never seen YouTube, didn't research backpacking or nothing. We just went to Walmart, we bought a bunch of food, a bunch of beer, a bunch of bottles of water, some little Dr. Peppers, and uh, chicken breasts, all that stuff. We ate all raw food, kept it cold in the creek, and I walked a freaking rolly cooler to, uh, I think it was campsite on 200, and uh, dumped it in the creek. It was, it was freaking horrendous. It was terrible. It was one of the greatest weekends of my life. It was like an epiphany. Oh, ah, look at that crack. Let's, let's roll in. Let's see what we can see. Uh, no, just kidding. There's nothing in there. Probably some bats and some spiders and shit. But, um, yeah, it was an amazing experience. And, uh, it rained all weekend. We played in the rain. We camped in the rain, soaking wet in a Coleman tent. All Walmart gear. Oh, it was bad. Then our next camping trip. Well, hell, I'm not going to use a rolly cooler. I'm going to use a hand tote cooler. So it was a cooler bag. It was switch arms. Arms getting kind of tired. Yeah, so it was a uh, it was a cooler bag, and uh, took us like three trips to get it in. Like I uh, carried the pack in, carrying those two things, got like a third of the way down Thompson. Then, uh, you know, I was like, ah, I'm gonna drop all this shit in the bush. So I dropped it down, and then we hauled off running, got the crap to the to the campsite. Then I went back for the cooler bag. And uh, the other bag, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember, there was a bunch of crap in it. It was a lot. Our packs were like 50 pounds, 60 pounds. And then each bag was like 25 pounds. Man, I was hauling. I was like farmer carrying that shit. I was just... I, I was getting it, son. And a lot more tougher than I am now. Uh, back then, I was a landscaper and an arborist, a logger. So I had some muscles on me. Kind of skinny and got that hiker body on me now. And, uh, but anyways, we hiked through that section and uh, grabbed all our gear, got it to camp. And uh, after that experience, we decided, you know what? 
I'm really enjoying this. But I don't want to just camp, I want to hike. So when we got taxes and bonus from work that year, we immediately went to REI and we bought us some good gear. Was it the lightest? No. We went from 50 pound packs to about 25 to 35 pound packs. And now thanks to the Z-Packs and the titanium gear and stuff, we are down to about 15 to 17 pounds base weight with dog gear. Dog sleeping bag, you know, dog sleeping pad, all that, because we want our dogs to be comfortable while they're still alive and they're with us, because they're very special to us. The bush pigs are amazing. What you see on film is the way they are. I don't capture special moments. Our dogs are just energetic. They're wild and they're crazy and I absolutely adore them. And every moment we have with them is very special. Got the SC3 chilling out here on the rock, looking absolutely beautiful and pristine. Hey, stay. Get it. Oh, yeah, I've been cross baton in her. Beating on her and whooping on her. Oh, yeah. TKC scales. Oh, yes, sir. I'm still not a fanboy. I'm just saying, I freaking love this knife and I love every SC. I got some knives by other people, not many. I got knives by other people. Let's plop this in my pocket and keep on the walking. Oh yeah, baby. Cue the beast mode music. We going up the Sipsy slide. Mm. Yeah, son. Time to come back now. Look at my hair. Pickles! Pickles! Where in the hell is he? Woo. Got like a hiker perm. Figure Mr. Turtle would be down here getting water. I guess he's not. I guess he went up that way. It's okay. If he doesn't come back in 30 minutes, we'll send a search to Bush Big. There she is. Last time that tent will sit in that spot. Hideaway camp, it will be just a memory. It's been awesome, guys. Glad y'all come along with us. So, just climbed up the rock face. Had a lot of, whew, got some bad hair. <laughs> Had a lot of awesome memories here. And I'm just looking up at our tent and this little, this night, Coming up will be the last night that our tent will be sitting here. It's the last time we'll walk in the Sipsy. We're going to pursue other trail systems after this, but this is the first trail system that licked us. Uh, it beat us. And we didn't finish it properly. And we decided a long time ago that we were going to come back and finish this. And before we could, we moved to Pennsylvania. And uh, so we decided, screw it. We're going to come back. We're going to hike the hell out of this thing. We're going to put the nail in the coffin and call it done. And so that's what we're going to do. Ah, uh, there she is. The Big Agnes Copper Spur UL3. Sitting at hideaway camp. Ah, let's jump down here. Let's go get a look-see. I'll present to you, my friends. Hideaway camp. Ah, oh, man. I'm rocking that major, major bad hair. Must be a genius as bad as my hair is, right? Right? Can you see the tent over there? She will disappear shortly. She will. I promise you. Ignore the hair. Do not look at the hair. Here she goes. Look at there. Can't even see her. Look at it. Look at it. That's why it's a called hideaway camp. Y'all still loving this hair, aren't you? Oh, 
Good morning. I think we up now. I'm not really sure. Mm. And then last night's rest. Uh, 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 it's day four of the hike. And I'm feeling quite marvelous. Yeah. Yum, as we call it. Um, some uh, cranberry and almond oatmeal, and a little bit of peanut butter comes out. Come on, uh, come on, pig, pig. Yeah. Oh, that's Daddy's pig. Yeah, look at Daddy's pig. She's so beautiful. And. For the last time we say goodbye to Hideaway Camp. You've been awesome, my friend. Uh, time to go smash 201 and 202. We've never completed those two trails in this loop, so we're about to kill it. Let me show you how we're going. We're going to run up the hill. <laughs> then we're going to smash the mountains. <laughs> then we're going to walk on the flashlight. Yeah, we're bosses. We're beast mode in this side. Then we'll be done and we'll meet up with Turtle, Senor the Weekend Hacker, Senor Adam, and it's gonna be amazing! Smash you six miles, seven miles, call it a day, son. Let's say goodbye to Pig Beach. Here come my girls. Pig Pig! Uh, there's my ladies, my swampy little ladies. Oh yeah, another beautiful morning in the Sipsy Wilderness. Just looking absolutely amazing. There's my girls in the background. Wishing I'd hurry the hell up, because I want to do some hiking. So that's what we're going to do. We're going down 201 and 202, and we're meeting Turtle on the 209. Yes, sir. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be so good. I'm loving this. This uh, CPAX Aqua Clip. thing is amazing. You just... Bam. How you get your water on and off? Doesn't feel as chilly as yesterday after all the time I played in the water. Rocks are a little hard. It'll be okay, right? Ah, a little bit deeper than normal, but that will be completely and totally fine with ooh, me. Here we go, here we go, like a champ, like a boss. Oh, it's chilly. Ooh. Oh. So, we've crossed the 201 water crossing. We're about to be on the 201, and we're about to smash this trail. I guarantee it. Whole goal is to beat Adam to the uh, connection between the 202 and the 209, because uh, he's having a rough go of it on this trip. So we decided to let him hike the easy section, and we'll go actually kill the loop. All right, let's go smash these miles. It's gonna be mountainous terrain, rocky terrain. 
and about a mile and a half, two miles longer than what he has to hike. We won't finish it first. It's a race. Oh yeah, it's a race, baby. Ah, let's catch up with Mayor, shall we? All right, about to go over a rock. Point. Just love getting out here and doing a good hike. Guess where we at? We at the beginning. Oh, that's 201. Oh, this thing is an asshole. Oh, it's everything the 210 throws at you. In about a mile and a half. Then you flatten out. There's my wonderful, beautiful lady up there, Miss Mary. Let's zoom in for a close up, shall we? Yeah, we used to take a lot of selfies right there, did we not? Oh, how we come up there for a selfie right now? Oh, righty. Ah, back in the sipsy, back in the sipsy. Uh, finally on the 201 properly. While well, hiking the outer loop. Yeah. Ah, there's the pig pigs. Um, Somebody found some water. Oh, it's happy pig pigs. It's a waterfall up here. You want to see it? Let's zoom in and look at it. Oh, yeah. Just finished that little portion of the 201. Sign points that way going to the 209. That little portion is actually the 201. It's basically climbing up on top of a mountain. We were at the 201 trail sign. Hell yeah! And you can see car this way, car that way. Okay. I think I wrote okay. I don't know. Anyways. Ah. Uh, it's hot today, took my buff off, sorry for the hair, or not, I don't really care. You're watching for our adventures and our comedy. You're not watching for me to have great hair. Let's be truthful, hikers never have good hair. Or hygiene, or clean clothes, but we know how to party. Ah, yes, yeah, son, let's get it done. Pretty cool little area, all these trees been sawn up. Looking pretty awesome like a possum. If you don't know what awesome like a possum means, where in the hell have you been? I'm talking to you, son. Where have you been? Keep it swampy. Nom, 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 trail treats. Tell them where you at, baby. I am at the 202 intersection. Hell yeah. Half of our mistake is done and in the damn trash bin. Look at there, look at there. Piss on you, piss on you. Goodbye to that trail, never to see that again. Let's go ahead and smash this trail, how about we? I feel like I got my super trail legs now. We're doing 11 and 12 um, mile days. Uh, man, I feel like I could pound out 15, 16 today. Yeah, legs feeling good, packs feeling good. Got that Z packs on the back, baby. Yeah, feeling awesome. How y'all doing today? Oh, hope y'all watching this and having a great time, having a laugh with us and following along. Um, oh, whew, man, oh, look at this. Oh, oh yeah. Great to be out here, baby. Yeah, just following along. Ooh. I'm running at about three and a half, four mile per hour pace. Still ain't caught her. Man, my girl is killing these miles, son. She is, she is smashing it. Ah, oh, couldn't be proud. Yes, sir. Hiking hard and loving life out here in the Sipsy. Ah, oh, last hurrah and bam, my baby. Come down here, kill the Sipsy OTL. Yeah, show it who's boss. Tina Trees is in the building. We are killing it. Nate and Mary and the Bush Pigs in the house. Or on the trail, or on the hike, or whatever. Looking forward to getting down this creek. 202, 209 crossing. Should be getting there soon. We just smashing it. Oh, you were impressed. Are you having a good time? Oh, yeah, you know you are. Yeah. Woo. 
Whew, finally caught up with him. Man, y'all were smashing those miles in front of me. Huh. It'll go to about a four mile per hour pace just to catch you. Huh. Hell yeah. Huh. Where are we at? 5.5. Huh. A mile and a half. A mile and a half. Oh, piggies. Let's go kill it. Better. You better now, pig. Are you fucking filming that? I'm gonna have to eat you up. Oh. <laughs> mm. So, that's where the valet put my car. Oh, I am so mad. I've been looking for that thing for years. That is some bullshit. Look at this big ass tree. Look at it. He's so huge. Massive. Mahoosive! Now let's get back on the trail. We're wasting time. We gotta beat a turtle. It fell over. And look what I see. One. Two trees growing straight up out of it. Freaking amazing! Reconnected to the ground. Through some new roots. That's freaking cool. Yeah. And there's the main root ball. Huh. That is pretty cool. Yeah. 202 is almost in the bag. We are heading down the mountain to the creek. You head up the mountain on 201, you head down the mountain on 202, back to the creek. The hill just hit my pack. Oh my goodness. Pig is not staying with us. Her water sense is tingling. She is sensing the water is close by. Got a creek crossing in a minute and then a El Luncho. Yeah, yes, look at them rocks behind me. Yeah, them things are old as crap. Looking pretty. And I can hear water. Can you hear it? I don't know if it's coming across on the camera. I hear a waterfall. Oh, we're going to it, son. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we're getting water. Can you hear it? Oh, yeah, I know you can hear it now. Guess what we done found? Little, little piece of paradise. Ah. Huh? No, nah, I'd bring a trekking pole. Look what you missing, turtle. Yeah, baby. We about to finish up our hike to the 209. Let's rock it out. You ready to rock it out? We're all ready. We're 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 ready. we are <sighs> we almost home free. <sighs> Done killed this trail system. Uh. <sighs> hey, honey, what, what what hand signal do you want to give the two o two? Yeah, fuck you, two o two. Not only did we finish this up in a record time, about two hours, 30 minutes, we beat the other guy, Senior Turtle, who was doing lower mileage on flatter terrain. Oh yeah, super swampy, super freaking swampy. Yeah, son.
There's my girls. Playing in Thompson Creek one more again. Hey, Where are you going? That was a close one. Uh, uh, I was walking out to the ladies and about right over there, about had a cottonmouth swim up around my leg. Luckily this water's shallow and I saw him and the current was pushing him towards me. He wasn't really swimming towards me. And I was able to get out of his way and we were able to flush him downstream. So nobody was hurt, but that could have quickly ended our hike if I hadn't gotten bit by him. Cottonmouth bites become necrotic and swell very quickly. So it'll kill the tissue. It's god awful painful. And if you let it go too long, you could lose a limb. So a bite on my legs, not what we want out here. All right, so stay safe guys. Watch the water when you're hiking. Freaking hog moment. Freaking hog moment. Look at that crazy bush pig. I've been telling y'all that bush pig's crazy. Now, but listen. Bush pig's cray cray. Woo! What's up, Simpsy Wilderness? Guess who freaking showed up? Almost got lost, but it's here. It's a weekend hiker. We weren't gonna hike out and call the rescue parties. We're gonna get the um, the Coast Guard and the, the wilderness professionals, the wardens, um, uh, the Army Reserve, um, National Guard. We were gonna get them in here to find them. The McDonald's workers. Yeah, the McDonald's workers. They were gonna bring them cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> but he got here, so we're good. So we're gonna eat some lunch, then we're gonna hike a, a that away, and we're gonna get to camp. And we'll have a couple of miles tomorrow uh, to make sure he can get to his ride. If we get there early enough, <clears throat> Adam, <laughs> maybe we can go get us a Sonic slushy before your uh, homie gets here. And when you can just be like, hey, meet me in Molten, foo. All right. Time to get some noms on. We got some up for grabs. What is it? I don't know, but it's up for grabs. Oh, yeah. Look at that nomic goodness. Mm -hmm. You want to see a spoonful? Look at it. Look at it. Oh, here it goes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. Y'all are missing out. I'm telling you. Look. Even weekend hikers eating it. Nom, nom. Nom, nom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's upside down. What? No, it's not. Is it? Possibly upside down. Okay, then we'll flip the camera. <laughs> what is up, ladies and gentle pigs? We are at camp for the evening. There's a turtle laying over there on a piece of Tyvex. He doesn't realize that that is not camping gear. That's actually construction gear. So, um, yeah. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he's, he's lumping with some pigs. There's a pig over there lumping. There's a mean lady. Say hello, mean lady. Hello, with me and my wonderful hair. She... We're all going for the homeless look. Practicing our through hiker look. Like, do I smell? Sniff me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you look closely, you'll see a lazy old bush pig. You're a lazy old bush pig. So lazy. Look at it. Can't even lay all the way on her damn bed. <laughs> Miss Minnie Swampy herself. She's Never. Ready to go. Never. What are you doing? You smell something? Oh, let me smell something. Go get it! Get it, Lemma! Get it! Oh, it's, it's venomous. It's vicious. Look at it. She's a demon. Ooh, what is up today? How's looking amazing? We're speed packing so that we can get on the trail as quickly as possible. I think I'm gonna take one of these super swampy tea in the tree power breakfasts out to Mr. Weekend Hiker so that he can have some power legs so he can power hike. Okay. Let's get her going. We're packed and ready to go, so. What's a minute? She's not even impressed. She's not impressed. So let's get on the freaking trail and hike some miles. I'll have five today to kill it. A bit, Batman squeeze. Oh, y'all gonna be taking my pack off, we?
Bam! Ready for the trail, baby. Yes, yeah, son. We all packed up. We all packed up. We all about to hit the trail. Yes, sir. Got about five miles to smash before. It's cold beer, warm food, and I don't have to freaking pull out shit out of my pack. Yeah, how's that sound, Adam? Sounds great. Oh, yeah, we got cold soda and the off-brand Yeti. It's not even a Yeti. It's just something like it. It's like half the fucking price. But 12 days of ice, baby. Cold soda. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Come on, Mayor. Ladies, lead the way. Let's get it done. Bye. Bam. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to see something that's not really filmable? Whoa. Look at it. It's pretty damn... Disappointing. Goodbye, disappointing spot. Fuck you. Outside as you head through the Sipsy. Steep cliffs. Almost Jurassic period. Old oh, shit. Massive cliffs rise up from the creek. You can see the old moss, the old forest growing up and enclosing the creek, enclosing everything in its beauty. I was trying to say was freaking old. What that guy was trying to say was is this place freaking old. Old as crap. If you look in the background, you'll see the weekend hiker talking about a cave. He said it was a nice little cave. It's actually smelly, covered in moss. Don't listen to This it. was a porno. This would be called the money shot. Bam! Look at it. It's freaking beautiful. Don't go chasing waterfowls. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Good guy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That is a waterfall and a half. Normally we get like, I don't know, like a trickle. This freaking thing is coming down, son. You wanna see it again? Look at that. Look at the splendor. Look at the magistry. Look at the magnificent. Gonna do a little rock hopping, and then it's time for this mandatory slow-mo waterfall shot. Yeah, baby. <gasps> Nothing? Oh no, she did! That is freaking beautiful. Let's do it again. Bam! Start from the bottom. Ooh, baby! This absolutely amazing spot, taking a rest, shooting a ton of footage. There's a bush pig right over there. Look at it. I'm gonna poke her. Poke that bush pig. I'm gonna wait. Mean late. I'm trying it. I'm doing some. Boom. <laughs> Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Adios, mean lady. We'll see you on the flip side. You're gonna leave us stranded. Deuces, you're leaving too. I'm still filming, bro. <laughs> Having a good time out here. About to set off again. There are a little ways ahead of me. I had to get the last shot. Mm -hmm. oh, excellent day. Waterfall running good. Running pretty. Oh, uh, look at this freaking crap, man. Look at this crap. It just, it don't get much more beautiful than this. Had some people looking down off the cliff. Had me wondering what the crap I'm doing. What are you doing, bro? Channeling Gator Miller in this biatch? Mm -hmm. Now last time I hiked through this, it was so shallow I could look over the rocks. Epic. We were filming this here. Pig's over there racing. Hi, pig. Give us your victory pose, honey. Last creek crossing. Yay. Woo! Get you some pig.
so bad. Island of one! Yes, sir. Yeah. About to smash this last crease crossing. Ah. Let's get our feet wet and swampy, shall we? Ah. Lemon Louise. Ah. Yeah, boy. Nice and wet. That's how you do it. Look at the, look at the, look at the majesty. Oh, yeah, son. It's like a Pennsylvania walking talk, except for I'm in the fucking water. What you find in there, Emma? Oh, yeah. Look at those cliffs, boy. Yeah, them pretty, pretty, pretty. And then we got Turtle. He's not a pretty cliff, he's more of a turtle. Say hi, Turtle. What's up? Welcome to the Sipsy Wilderness. We got girls and pigs. We got strawberry water and seed packs on our backs. Right, well, I'm trying to get it to a spot to rest. We're on the 200. Uh, famous for the fat man squeeze. Um, past couple of day hikers, a couple of minutes ago. Psst. We ain't no day hikers, we're sipsy through hikers, son. And uh, so, get to this rest spot, have us a little snack, have some agua. Then we'll push on to Fat Man Squeeze. Hopefully we can get up there, get some filming done. Then we'll get to the cars, run down and get us a nice uh, bag of chips or something, drink an ice cold soda. Overall, it's a nice day. Oh, and it's a soap. Just chilling in a nice spot, about to eat a granola bar, a dark chocolate, peanut butter, oh yeah. Uh, just relaxing. Mary's back there chilling on a rock, feeding the limb pig. Some tortillas. Had some spare ones from the fajitas the other night, so it's a good day. I think Turtle is over there, chilled and crashing. Anyways, good times, good times. Yeah, boy, it's got a lot of miles on it. Pretty soon, that pack will, too. <sighs> Shipping up to be a nice day. Good day on the trail, honey? Yeah. Glad it's almost done. Uh, yeah, me too. I could probably do another two or three days out here, but I don't really want to. It's time for some, tr it's time to be off the trail and in town. Gonna have some chips, gonna have some junk food, gonna have some freaking cold soda, maybe a couple of beers. It's gonna be amazing. So hang around, finish the hike with us, and let's go pop a top. How's that sound? Oh, right. What you doing? It's a hog pan. It's a hog pan. She's the fuck is wrong with him? <laughs> Lemma! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> I'm so shocked right now. Yonder! The way that the lady walks. Tis fat man squeeze it is. And we are about to go through it. You with me? Here we go, here we go. Damn, drop one of my trekking poles. Anyways, yeah, we're about to go through Fat Man Squeeze. Then we got like a mile to the trailhead. Cold sodas, warm beer. I'm gonna get them chilled off in the in the cooler. Got one of them 12 day coolers. So we are solid. We are good. We are golden. We are champions at the Sipsy. Champions, I tell you. Yes, yeah, son. All right, let's plop through Fat Man Squeeze. You need help? The girl needs help. Look at that. Needs her. Her illumination. Yeah, I'm about to take it off. Oh, yeah. Tighter now, remember? What you thinking, Adam? I'm thinking I hope I don't tear my pack up. Ah, right, you'll be all right. Ooh. Good times in the sips and full slick. Holy shit, it's French's. We got some French's mustard in this thing. Thank you, Mary, for finding You are awesome like a pop. This is super swampy. Yeah, baby. Walking through Fat Man Squeeze, finally. 
Culmination of about 40 miles of hiking. Came up to this. Out of trail loop is done. About to get our feet soaking wet. Oh, yes, we are. Look at that right there. Look at right there. Yeah. This damn trail loop is finished. Huh. Uh, oh man, my feet are soaked with some nasty shit. Uh, uh, yeah, so we're in the awesome spot right here. This is right after Fat Man Squeeze. Absolutely epic. Um, footage was probably terrible coming through Fat Man Squeeze. I don't care. Or not. I'll probably delete it, truth be told. Man, my feet are nasty right now. I have to add him back there. He's gonna chill next to Batman Squeeze. We're gonna go ahead and plonk out uh, last three quarters of a mile to the trailhead. My chill is completely done. I have no time to chill. I have to finish this. All right. It's go time, baby. Yes, sir. So, this is a very special spot for us. Isn't it, baby? Yeah. This is our weekend home. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. Doesn't look like much right now because of all the sand that's come through here. Uh, normally, while right where Emma's at, we put our tent and have our fire over there. Get down to the water right here. This is also the spot where I filmed um, about the uh, finding pot at William B. Bankhead National Forest. So, but um. Gonna miss this spot. Pretty awesome spot. We actually outran a tornado uh, from this spot. Got back at the car. You could see it coming from that direction, right over there. And uh, we were camped right over here. So uh, uh, we got up. We got up. And it's rumbling, thundering, lightning. And you could see the cyclone starting to form. And uh, we packed up the tent, we packed up everything and hauled ass up the hill. Um, it's also where we, uh, you know, a lot in the tent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. So, me and Mary are currently at the location we first camped. I'm talking ever. That epic moment when we grabbed all the gear from Walmart. And we hiked out here with a cooler, with a rolly cooler. And... Uh, it was still pretty dang epic, wasn't it, Mayor? It was. So, this is probably going to be one of the last moments we filmed this trip. So, glad we could share this with y'all. Um, it's been a wonderful week. Um, we'll see you later. Yeah, we will. Bye, guys. So, that is the end. It's a wrap. 200 is completed. We won't be hiking the uh, Sipsy Outer Loop ever again. It's over. So, it's an awesome trip. Thank you for coming along, guys. Are you fucking shitting me? Look at this crap. <laughs> Walking this long, annoying road up to the car. A little bit under a mile, but it feels like a million miles after you've done a hike 40 something miles, 50 miles in the Sipsy Wilderness. Uh, we're all beat, all ready for uh, the windows to be open, the breeze in our head, cold sodas and hot food that we ain't gotta fucking cook. Yeah, it's gonna be epically amazing because there's nothing that says gourmet like gas station food made by Indians. Mm. Yeah, they know how to make all the all-American favorites. Excuse me, can I have a curry burger with fries? Thank you. Made it. Killed it, didn't we? Ah, uh, we have finished the freaking O-T-L. All the way. Sipsy Wilderness is in the bag. We are done with you, baby. Give me a kiss this one now. Mm -hmm. Super swampy, sweaty kisses. Ah, we've completed this bitch. It is done. Ah.
Ah, uh, Z packs in full effect, baby. Mm. Victory. Mm. All right. Uh, we have conquered the beast.